One player that is really blossoming is Utah Jazz forward Lowry Markkinen, who through 12 games is averaging 21.9 points on 52.9% overall shooting and 8.8 .8 rebounds. What you are probably wondering has changed for the seven-footer in Utah that perhaps wasn't happening in either Chicago or Cleveland. Uh, the first thing that the Jazz have unlocked is Markkanen's driving ability. He actually might be right now the league's best seven-footer at attacking the hoop and finishing from a variety of angles. So far, he's taken 32 shots on drives and made 22 of them. That's 68.8%, which is extraordinary. He's the only non-guard who has taken at least 25 shots on drives and is shooting 60-plus percent. The only player that has a better field goal percentage on drives, regardless of position, with at least that many attempts is Luka Doncic. De'Aaron Fox is slightly lower at 66.1%. Unique about him is that he's very comfortable handling the ball in transition and finishing on the move. He's made 21 of his 30 shots in transition, which is 70%. Again, incredible. Uh, the only player with a higher percentage in transition with at least 30 tries is Tyrese Maxey, who is shooting 75% in these situations. Uh, with the Bulls and Cavs, he was primarily used as a spot-up threat. In fact, each of the last two seasons, about 37% of his action came in spot-up situations. This year, that's down to just 26%, so he's much more of a creator now with Utah. When watching Markkinen in college at Arizona, one of the things that really stood out to me was his ability to come off pin down screens and shoot on the move. You just never really see that from seven footers, but Markkinen has a knack for it. We're seeing the Jazz utilize him more in these situations as well. He's already taken 16 shots coming off an off ball screen. And while he's only knocked down six of them, he made just 11 all of last season with the Cavs. The only other seven footer that does this sometimes is Carl Anthony Towns. From a more general perspective, Markkinen has terrific balance and body control. He's certainly not fast or electric off the dribble, but he gets to his spots and with his length can rise over just about any defender. He has really good touch close to the basket. He's shooting 75% within five feet and 59% between five and nine feet. Not even Giannis Antetokounmpo or Zion Williamson has been this efficient. Giannis, in fact, has made just one of his 12 shots between five and nine feet out, while Zion is three of 17 from this range. The thought over the last few years was that Markkinen was really just a floor spacer, uh, but he's so much more well-rounded than that. He actually hasn't even shot the ball well from deeper ranges this year. He's only shooting 29.7% from three-point distance. Incredibly, the Jazz sit in first place in the Western Conference, and Markkinen has been the team's best player.